Hello and welcome. We will solve this problem together, but first read it and try it on your own. Then press play and we'll do it together. Alright, so a construction company uses the function f of p, so not f times p, but a function based on the inputs p. And they're saying p is the number of people that are working on the project. Okay. And they're modeling the amount of money um, spent to complete the project. So this function is based on the amount of people we have, and the result gives us some kind of cost, right, to complete the project. A reasonable domain, so for this function would be which is the following. So remember, we've got two big words here. We've got domain, and then the other word that might apply here, they don't say it, it's range. Um, domain and range are just mathematical ways of saying your inputs, typically x, and your range is your outputs, typically y. So what does that mean? Well, any function consists of inputs and outputs, and that could be anything. Uh, as they're showing you here in this case, p, right, is the input, and in fact always the input is always the variable that's in the brackets here because it's just the function based on the input p. That's what it really reads as. So the input's always placed inside here. So p is your domain. And then maybe our range would be the cost based on the number of people. So the number of people working is going to give us the total cost. And there's some equation that does that. They don't, they're not sharing it. They just want to know what kind of numbers can you find for the domain. In other words, what kind of numbers are reasonable to represent uh, numbers of people working? Look at these choices here. The answer has to be uh, one, because positive real numbers, two, real numbers are anything. It could be irrational, like the square root of two, or pi. You can't have pi workers, right? You're not going to allow fractional parts of workers. It includes fractions themselves, of course, repeating numbers, a third. Um, you have to have a third of a person, or an irrational amount of people, or a pi amount of people, or, which is irrational. Um, so you're not going to have those numbers. It's not going to work. Negative numbers, you're not going to have negative people. I mean, you could have neg people who are negative workers who aren't very encouraging, but you're not going to have a negative number of workers. So that's out. And um, both positive and negative real numbers are out as well. The same reason. Again, integers um, are positive or negative whole numbers, so only the positive numbers make sense. Right? So you have one worker, or two workers, or three workers, and so on and so forth. That's the range. Excuse me, that's the domain. The range, however, could have been... Um, different things here because we don't know how they charge so um, any one of these choices could have been the range because you could somehow have a cost of work based on pi maybe you're dealing with volume you could somehow have a cost that's negative right which means uh, or the money you're to the money amount you spend could be negative because maybe it's free and maybe spending negative money actually means they're paying you to do the project so on and so forth so two three and four could have actually been the answers for the range but we don't know much about this problem, so, and we're focusing on domain, which is choice one. All right, hope this helped.